what you'll show off. Chuck this nade here. See if that person pushes or not. I don't think he is. Just get a reload. Just wait for my health to get a bit more. I'll push up. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, my days. That's so good. Oh. I'm quite vibing the uh, tier 5 pistols. Pretty good. Oh my, I love this shotgun, it's so fun. It is so fun, it's just... You feel like, um, what's his name? Terry, it's Terry Crews from from the Expendables, that sh famous shotgun scene. I'm going to have to put that in, a, in this um, video for sure. Oh, come on. Yes. I love that they've also added the satisfying little headshot noises you can put in this now. Like, when you get a headshot, you have that, like, kind of, like, it's so cool. It just gives you more satisfaction. I'm off the leash. <laughs> I had to go for the box kill. I was trying to go for the box kill. Orbit is so good for shotties too, because you can kind of use your dash. That's why I like using Orbit for this, or, or um, Mongoose. That's awesome. Do you know a thing called an objective? Sin. If you had that thing called objective, you should play around it. Oh yeah. Oh, that thing in the red. Yeah, that thing in the red, John. Oh, okay. I'm not hitting it. Just give myself a pet tall boy. Sorry. Hi. This thing. Oh, this thing. It's good. It's a fun. It's, on this map, it's super fun. Oh, you can get it from up that range. Yes, you can. I thought I had someone. My time to shine. No, no, no. I thought I had someone in there. 
Ja, ey, ist. Oh. I'm trying to dash here because I thought I was all bad. He can dash with all that up to there. Oh, where is she? You gonna pop up here? <laughs> yeah, where is everyone? I've literally gone around the map. I can't find them. Oh, crispy, crispy. All right, we found someone. What a lovely day. They disappeared again. Where are they? Dude, this, this shot is so cool. Shout out to Enders and uh, Lorenzo from my live streams. These are the guys. These are the guys are the reason why we're causing this much destruction at the minute. They said, you know, try out the tier 5 shotty sim. It's really good. I'm like, okay. They're like enticing me for ages to try it out. And I'm like, okay. So we uh, we we spent the old 10k and a lot of it. And I, I gotta say, I thank him. I thank him for it. I understand. I understand. It is awesome. Where's she go? She's got her ulti. I think she's gone to the left here. Yeah. No, she's out of her ulti. At least we would have died if she had the ulti. Oh. Okay, guys, so as I normally do on my videos, I'll go over kind of my thoughts on the Brute um, now for you. So I'm going to say it now. I think this is most probably the most favorite, most fun I've had using shotguns, using the Brute. I've tried the other ones out. I'm not the biggest shotgun player, but I like some of them, especially the tier two with the bleed rounds. I had some fun with this. I had a bit of fun with the, uh, the ones which are a bit more one shotty. And they're great and all, but I just didn't have too much fun with them. You know, I didn't, I, I'd use them for like one game or two and I'll be gone. I'll go back to assault rifles, SMGs, right? But this, I stuck with me and I was having so much fun with it. I just, like I said, I showed you a clip at the start with the old Terry Crews and that's what it made me feel like, you know, especially if you're going around doing some decent flanks or you're right up in their face and you're just spamming the shotgun because you can deal with multiple people with this gun um, and that's why I like this one more than say the potential one shotters here which you have to be you know on point if you miss there's a possibility you're going to die because the, the rate of fire is low right so if you miss with this gun um, you don't get that one shot anyone with an SMG could finish you up or anyone with a shotty especially a higher rate of shot fire shotty is going to finish you up um, so I prefer the higher rate of fire shotguns over the more consistent one shot shotties um, and that's I think a preference thing more than anything but this gun I find so fun to use so let's have a little look at the attachments I feel are good for PvP um, at the start, I don't think there's too many good ones, um, so you're going to have to level this up a bit. Um, I thought this one was going to be pretty decent um, at the start. 25% increased precision damage, but to be honest, you're going to be going for you don't want to be going for headshots with a shotty, right? Um, you want to be aiming center mass, and so some of these attachments, like this, you know, any of the ADS attachments, you don't really want to be ADSing. You don't you want to be hip firing the gun, right, and putting the uh, cross their center mass. Yeah, they do increase your range when you ADS. Um, I just don't think it's worth it. Um, I don't think I'd want to ADS with the shotty. I, also, I want to kind of keep mobile. I want to slide about and just kind of hit fire people. And so the, the, the ADS attachments, I don't feel are worth it. And the position damage, I feel like there's better attachments which just help it more because you shouldn't really be going for headshots with this, right? It's nice if one of the pellets, you know, from your, from your shot and he hits the head and it's going to do extra damage. 
um, but I don't think it's worth an attachment slot. So we'll take out all the a ADS scopes and we'll take out this. This is a PvE attachment, so it's not really useful for PvP. And then we start getting into um, the more juicier attachments. So number five sounds okay. Can increase stability. To be honest, I didn't really mind the stability, especially if you're hip firing it, right? And it says 10% slower spread gain. Now, that means accuracy, right? It's going to help with accuracy. Um, and the pellets are not going to spread out more when you start firing it and spamming it. Which sounds great, but to be honest, I don't think it's going to help too much against, like, close range. And... I think there's better attachments to help you at range. So again, I don't feel like it's a worthwhile attachment. It, it's, it, it is a good attachment, but there's better ones, and I'll we'll show you that in a minute. So the first one I feel is really good, and I think this is literally what you need on the shotgun, um, no kind of questions asked, is the just flat buff 10% increase range. That's a good one, right? Shotguns want a range buff. You don't have to do anything for it. You don't have to ADS. You don't have to do anything. Just gives you a range buff. Perfect, right? So that's the first one you'd put on. And then you'd look at this one and think this is great. I've gone against someone who used the tactical flashlight and it, it doesn't blind me. I, I felt like I didn't get blinded at all um, going against the person using this. So maybe it's better for PvE, right? So for PvP, most probably not a good one to use. So it's still going to just keep with number six, number eight, no. Number nine, again, I think this is a good one. This is just a straight out um, flat buff. 10% um, increase in RPM. So this is going to be handy because if you're going against multiple people, you want to shoot faster, right? Just get, get the shots off faster. If you want to try and two shot someone, if you can two shot them slightly faster, that's a plus, right? That's definitely a plus, especially if you've got to get hit three shots or even four if they're a bit more further ranges. You can shoot it faster, which is just going to help get that kill a bit more faster. So I think the 10% uh, increased RPM is a really good one and definitely worthwhile popping on your attachment. And then when you look at number 10, which is also a really decent attachment, you want to be sliding a lot. Right, spit with shotguns. It's all about movement and getting close to your to the to the enemies. Right, so you want to be sliding, moving about as fast as possible to get close. And I'm you'll see me sliding a lot with shotguns. Um, and so you're getting a direct buff every single time you're sliding about and trying to uh, you know cut the um, distance. And you're going to get an extra 15% increase in accuracy while sliding. So it's just going to make those shots more accurate. Your pellets more tighter when you're shooting. And on top of that, you get a 5% base damage increase. Now, I don't think the base damage increase is going to help that much up close. You're still mostly going to only get like your one, two and three shots, depending on the ranges. I think that's going to kind of feel the same. But you also got to see base increased base damage as a, an increase in range, right? There's damage fall or something in this game. There's a lot of damage fall off with shotguns. And increasing the damage is just going to help with the damage fall off. So in a way, you're kind of just increasing your range. So number 10 combined with number 6 is going to just increase that range a bit more. So you're going to be able to hit more 2-3 to three taps at the further ranges, which is perfect, right? So for me... I'm going to test out this one, the increased RPM, and see if it really makes a difference. But I think for me, it's going to be number 6, number 10, and number 11. Um, number 11 is a 20% increase in reload speed. The reload is what makes this gun a bit weak sometimes because it's got such a slow reload. Now, you don't have to do a full reload to start shooting again. You'll notice in the clips I was like... I'll, I'll pop in like four or five bullets out and I'll pop in one or two back into the chamber and carry on shooting. You don't have to fully reload it to the eight magazine size. Um, and I think with the 20% increased reloading speed, you'll be able to just basically put those pellets in 20% faster. You know, so if you want to get an extra two shots quickly in your shotgun, you can you can put it twenty percent in twenty percent faster into the into the actual shotty. So I feel like this is actually really good, and I think that's a that's a buff to what the gun's weak spot is. So for me, personally, I'm going to be running 6, 10, and 11. But I am going to try out the RPMs. I think the RPM is also very good. And it's kind of just a toss-up between these four for you. 
and I think these are the ones you want to be looking at if you are using this gun but let me know in the comment section down below um, what attachments you think you might use for this gun if you do want to unlock it have you unlocked it have you uh, maxed this out let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts on this shot but i have been having a blast with it but guys thank you so much for watching um we will be streaming tomorrow live on call of duty modern warfare 2 um this the new release so we'll be giving that a go um leveling up the uh you know the uh, camos and stuff like that i love doing all that kind of thing so we'll be doing that um live around 7 p.m 7 30 p.m uk time but guys thank you so much for watching and uh, i'll see you soon